the same way you can see the Yeah, Yeah, it's like two people in here. Try to wake some people up. Okay, right, so this is going to be peacock bass feeding. These guys are pretty quick at uh, eating these these guys, these monsters off.
Okay, sent out to crap old people. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> Right, it's up and to go. These guys are hungry. I got some feeders in the tank for them. We bought them Friday. And uh, I've been feeding them every couple days. Every couple days I've been throwing them in there. What up, Ed? Who we got in here? Indigo. We got RC Crazy, Crazy Gaming. This is RC and Custom Designs. We got Little My Drones, aka Ed. Ah, that's awesome. We're getting ready to feed these guys. These guys are hungry. We got we got some bigger minnows for the the catfish. So the catfish gets the big ones. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. We got to get some here. These guys don't, don't know what's about to be ready to happen, so. All right, here we go. Here's the first ones. They're ready for them. They're ready. <laughs> See if we can't get some more. I've been fattening these uh, these feeders up. They, they don't look too healthy when you buy them, but. Holy cow, that was quick. <laughs> and make sure I feed them and fatten them up for these guys. Do them one at a time. <laughs> Campus is definitely outpaced a bit. Yeah, because he keeps eating the big ones. Like these guys, I had to go back to feeding smaller ones because they couldn't they couldn't catch the big ones and eat them. So I went back to, I started feeding these guys the smaller ones. They eat like four or five of the small ones versus one or two of the big ones. So they're easier for them to catch and swallow. But that's the only reason why. The catfish, he's, he's gotten huge because he keeps, he's got a big enough mouth to eat the big ones. Uh -huh. No. Well, I, I Well, it's not supposed to be. Um, oops. There we go. I tried, how come that light's not working? Is it not plugged in? The rear light? I just tried turning it on so you can see the catfish. The catfish is starting to come out. And I got some big metals. Try to lure the catfish out. Ow. There it is. All right.
Oh, yeah. There you go, guys. You got some big nose. These are the big ones. Catfish will snatch, snatch them up. Did you get one yet? This water is still ice cold. See if I can't get it closer. Move the camera up closer. Must be the light. He's got them all messed up. You got one? Oh, yeah, look at his belly. Holy cow, look at his belly. You gotta change that banner on there. It's not right. <laughs> I'm trying to change the, the name on there. It's not right. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. Can't remember how to do it. Yeah, but it's not. It's not what. It's not showing up. What? Yeah, I know. Oh, what the heck is going on? Oh, the catfish. What happened? Did he did he bump something? What? Well, I can't find the. Oh wait, hold on. Oh yeah, I did. Oh, I'm sorry. I 
I don't know. I, I can't. I can't change it. Is it in settings? Hey, yeah, how come I, I can't figure out? Yeah, this is weird. It won't let me change the name. It says RC Crazy in the bottom left. <laughs> Must be oh must be I gotta change it back in the, um, the settings before I join the live. That's what I'm thinking too, Ed. No, not much actually anymore. We fed them all. <laughs> I'll have to remember that for next time. It's weird. It says harshly crazy down there, but whatever. Oh. So can you guys tell if they've gotten bigger since the last time you've seen them? I think Ed said. Yeah, no, I know Ed did, but. Especially the catfish. I mean, the catfish's belly is huge. <laughs> See how pretty the the, the, uh, the catfish looks? He's getting pretty. Like, his whole body shape is changing. He's getting a different color pattern on the stripes there and on his head. He's just completely changing. Like, he's losing the red. His tail used to be red. But it's turning like a brown or a gray. It's starting to lose that red tint to it, that red color. And the the peacock bass, um, when they're when they're excited, when, just before I start to feed them, they make their colors come out. Their colors are really pretty. And you can see a little hint of their colors, like they got green in the tails right now. Hey, we got Ed and we have Ed. Ed and Ed. Ed, Ed and Eddie. We're just missing Eddie. I'm going to see if I can't throw another goldfish in there or something. All right, we got one lonely goldfish. All right, guys, we're going to take bets on this goldfish. How long do you think this goldfish will last in here? It's right there. <laughs> one lonely goldfish. As soon as, they, as soon as they realize he's in there. <laughs> there he goes. Uh-oh. You think the catfish? What do you think, the peacock bass or the catfish would get? Oh, the peacock bass. 
Oh, the catfish just got the other one. The catfish just ate the other minnow. Look at look at his belly. That is insane. I just watched him eat that that last minnow. He has got a huge belly. Oh, here comes the goldfish, guys. Right there. Oh, there comes peacock bass. Food, food, food. Goldfish is like, uh, do I dare? <laughs> now keep in mind, I already fed. I fed these guys. I just threw one in there just just to see if they're still hungry. I know. Worst case scenario, the catfish will eat him. He eats everything. Like he does not stop. If I were to put all the fish in there, then he would eat it. He would eat them all. I think they're pretty well, pretty well fattened up right now. But <laughs> look how pretty the catfish looks. He's getting. Let's see if I can't get closer. Oh, you got bass for coming. Yeah, no, well, they're, they're pretty fat. They're pretty full. So if, if they do get them, they'll probably put them in, they'll probably put them in their mouth for a while and hold on to them. Who's it going to be? <laughs> They're all like, I want to, but I'm extremely full right now. <laughs> You're trying to decide. <laughs> We haven't we haven't named them, have we? We haven't named the the catfish or anything. Now we'll have to do a drawing. When the peacock bass get older, we'll be able to tell who's who. But right now, it's gonna it's gonna be kind of hard. I know there is one that's bigger than the other two. So we can so if we can figure out that one, then we can name that one too. Right now. They all have huge bellies, so it'll be a toss-up oh as we. Yeah, I know the catfish's belly is huge. <laughs> you think so, Ed? <laughs> I just think, guys, these fish eventually will get to be like three feet long, even the bass. That's insane. And what's, what's even more crazy is, see how fat these guys are? Tomorrow morning, those those bass, they will be hungry again, and their bellies will be gone. That's how fast those fish, like, digest in them. It's crazy. I think they're just being camera shy right now. They know that, he, that he's in there. He won't last in there. Oh, he's already going after him. He got him. <laughs> he got him. I think that's the big one. We call it Big Papa. Big Papa or Big Mama. Depending on what it turns out to be. <laughs> he swallowed it. It's gone. I cannot believe. Look at the size of the bellies. It's insane. 
<laughs> yeah, look at I can't believe it's side. <laughs> hey, look at his belly, it's crazy. It's like a big old ping pong ball in there. I've been kind of, I've been trying to decide whether or not I want to, well, I know I want to do it, do the live streams with these at night like I did before for people who want to watch. Hey, you'll never believe it happened. Ed. That camera I had set up down in the, the gar tank, somehow it fell into the water. I don't know how, but that camera shot. <laughs> it's done. It's toast. It fell in. Yeah, have to do uh, maybe at, maybe at like eight o'clock at night do live streams with, with these guys, and then when I get a camera set up again down in, in the big pond, then um, then I can switch it every other time so people can watch the the gar or people can watch the peacock bass. I'll switch it up here and there. Yeah, the camera fell in it, so I can't. It fell in like I. It must have just happened when I found it, because we were we were watching it all the time except for that day because I had to go to work and stuff. But we're already looking into. Um, we're trying to find another camera. We we think we found some 4K ones that we're gonna try out some Wi-Fi 4K ones. Uh, we're we're checking them out on Amazon. They're they're not not too uh, pricey, but. Uh, We're trying to get that set up right now. I see their tails. I don't know if you guys can see them or not, but if you look close to their tails, they got some pink in them, and then they got some green in them and blue. The colors are starting to come out. Can you guys see those or no? Hey, hey JP Slayer, you missed it. You have to, you have to watch the replay. What's crazy is is that by the morning time these guys will be hungry again, their bellies will be gone, and they will be looking for food again. It's insane how much these guys. But I only feed them like every two to three days because otherwise, uh, you know, they'll eat me out of house and home. <laughs> I don't want to overfeed them because they can get that that gallbladder disease from from all that. It sucks I don't have that underwater camera because I can do a feeding of, of uh, the guard next. But you just, there's no way to see it, so it kind of sucks. If 
Oh yeah, the, the next video is coming out, I think tomorrow. I got edited um, the video where we tore the pond down that Garth was in in the front yard. We tore it down, and we have them set up down in the basement now. So that video, I believe I have it set to come out on Fish and Junk for tomorrow. So you guys will get to see us netting Garth. You'll get to see the, see how big he's gotten. And, uh, and then what the setup looks like now. Usually they're a little more lively, but they're, really, they're full right now, so they're kind of chilling out. <laughs> yeah, you got huge, JP. I think he's got to be eight inches now. I got I got him when he was like three inches. Then the bass, they were only like two inches when I first got them. They were tiny. They couldn't even eat the minnows yet. That's what was crazy. They couldn't even eat the feeders yet. They're they're so small. And they they did, but it was hard for them. Yeah, I know the, the color on him, he's gotten pretty cool looking. Like, he's changing colors. He's got some uh, different spots. His tail used to be like a pinkish water, like a watermelon pink color or red. Now it's turning to be like a brown and gray color. And if you look, it's really cool. If you look between the black stripes, there's brown stripes in there. Oh, it's really cool. So that, that, that tiger that tiger stripe look on him is turning really cool. Like I can't wait for him to get bigger. I still would like to get a red tail catfish, but I'll have to wait till these guys are bigger. So it doesn't eat them. That's the only problem with getting red tail catfish is they eat everything. The red tail catfish, their mouths are twice as wide as this guy's mouth. His, so imagine he can he can eat bigger minnows than these peacock bass. So imagine what the red the red tail catfish could eat. The red tail catfish could probably eat those peacock bass, no problem, even a little one. So I got to make sure these guys are well grown out before I, I get a red tail catfish. And then when and then when I do get one, I have to keep them well fed, just like this guy, because that's all they do is eat, they eat. So if you skip out a day on feeding them, they will start eating their, their tank mates. And you can see, look at the middle one. If you look at the middle one closely, you can see at the, the top of the his rear tail, it's like blue. And then the bottom half is like orange. And then you can see the orange in the other ones too. The bottom the bottom uh, half of the peacock basses are, are orange. They're starting to relax a little bit. The color is starting to come out right now. Can you guys see that or not? I can, I can see it clear as day. It looks really cool. That's what I'm saying to it. There's there's blue and then there's there's like uh, orange in them.
I don't think so, JB. I mean, they might if they get bigger. I think when they get bigger. Like, this camera does not do them justice. Okay, that's what, that's what I was talking about. It, it, when they get bigger, they'll, it'll be really uh, pronounced. Let's see if I can find it. I'll have to see if I can find a picture to show you guys. I can't tell. <laughs> A lot of colors like that. <laughs> all right, guys, that's going to be it for tonight. Sorry for all you uh, late arrivals. You didn't get to see all the action. I tried waiting. I waited like 10 minutes for everybody to show up. And then these guys were getting getting pretty crazy, so I had to feed them. But I will call it a night. But yeah, sometime soon I'll start doing the, the nighttime live streams of these guys again. If you guys want to watch them, we haven't done that in a while. But I got this uh, this tripod here. I got set up. I can I can do that easily now. I'll do it. I'll start doing it like a couple times a week, probably. Starting at like eight o'clock at night or something. Yeah, that's good. You can rewind it.
All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Appreciate the support. Uh, don't forget to look forward to uh, tomorrow's video. Uh oh, Moses is flying around. Tomorrow's video, like I said, is going to be the teardown and um, setup of the pond that Garth was in. He's now down in the basement for the winter. So the video for tearing that down, you get to see how much he's grown. I tried picking him up for a picture, but he was not having it. <laughs> he did not like me picking him up. So we just so instead of stressing him out, I just kind of scooped him up and, and then we put him in a bucket until we tore the pond down and set it up in the basement. And now that's where he is. And I got some underwater footage of that before my camera crapped out. My camera, uh, I'm guessing the brick that I had holding down the lid somehow slipped and it pushed the camera into the water because the camera is ruined now. But I did have an underwater camera set up. I'm going to do it again, but do it, set it up differently next time so it doesn't tip over into the water. <laughs> so we did get lots of cool footage while we had it set up for the week. What does that mean? I don't. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I don't even remember. I, I haven't checked. I haven't looked at it in a while. Yeah, it does. Like a duck bill platypus. Oh, I should just leave the stream running, but I can't do that with all the kids running around. They'll drive you guys nuts. <laughs> but maybe we'll do that tomorrow night or something. Tomorrow night or Wednesday night, we'll do a live stream all night again. Probably Wednesday because I got a video coming out tomorrow. Your own life? Where's he at? I don't see his video. Oh, there he is. What up, Chris? How's it going, Chris? We were just uh, we were just shutting her down. These guys aren't very active now, so it's not not as much action going on. They're all they all got full bellies. I don't know if you remember them from before, but they have gotten pretty big. <laughs> Yeah, we're just discussing um, what's going on with the channel. We got we got some monster fish feeding stuff going on. We moved the, the alligator guard down into the basement, the new pond. Him and Pearl are still together. They're still tolerating each other. They've not killed each other off yet. If if they ever get to the point where they're going to get too aggressive with each other, then I'll end up taking Pearl out of there. But uh, for now, they're the alligator guard and the Oscar. They they do very well as tank mates for now. I mean, eventually, someday, I'm sure the alligator gar will probably eat him. He gets annoyed enough. But that'll be a while. He'd have to be three or four foot before he could probably put him in his mouth. And by that time, the Oscar will be 15 inches. So it'll be it'll be pretty hard for the alligator gar to eat him. But yeah, the, like the, the, the pond that I'm, I'm going to be putting them in, they're both going to get huge. So... <laughs> yeah, they've definitely gotten a lot bigger. And I don't know if you can tell, but if you look at the catfish's belly, it looks like a, a baseball is in there. Yeah, these guys are pretty full. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys. I'm going to head out. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. Um, next time I feed these guys will, will be Wednesday. Because I do like a, a Monday, Wednesday, Friday feeding with them usually. Sometimes Sunday. Um, so I try to keep that schedule. That way that I don't overfeed them. So uh, look forward to that. And maybe what I'll do is I'll do the, the live feeding and then just continue it to let it stream for the rest of the night. Oh, yeah, check out the – do you guys see those the spots on them? This right, right behind their eyeballs? Look at those black spots. Those are new. Yeah. They're like – Yeah, it could be because they, they don't like it. <laughs> Yeah, the, the color patterns are changing on them. They're getting like gold bars along the black bars. And then right behind their eyeballs, they got a big black diamond forming of some kind. So that's really cool. I can't wait to see what they look like when they get bigger. And then their bars are fading. Oh, it's a, they're still there. But the males are prettier than the females. Watch, no, my luck, I got three females, and the females don't get as pretty as the males. <laughs> All right, thanks, thanks, JB, for hanging out. Okay, hey, we're gonna get out of here, guys. I still gotta get my shower for the night. If you guys like what you're seeing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like and share it. We don't have Instagram or Facebook, or no, we don't have Instagram, but we do have Facebook. Fish and junk on Facebook. Make sure you check that out. Lots of great pictures from everybody putting their uh, their bass fishing pictures up on there, on there and uh, all kinds of good stuff from out throughout the summer. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget, just keep fishing. Just keep fishing. <laughs>